Hi, my name is Karina Alexanian. I am a social scientist and consultant working at the intersection of technology and society. I'm doing a presentation today on the responsible tech ecosystem. So responsible technology is a nascent field addressing the need to be thoughtful about the tools that we create to help ensure that technology innovations are aligned with the public interest. Technology is not neutral. Uh, this slide shows how humans shape technology and technology changes society and society shapes humans. It's a cycle and it's a feedback loop. And so all the biases that people bring to the tools that we develop that exist in the world and that people bring to the tools that we develop uh, affect the tools themselves and they affect us in turn. This next slide, um, demonstrates generally the same principle, but more in terms of uh, AI and machine learning about how bias in the world affects data and manifests in the human review as well and in the outcomes. Technology and ethics are increasingly interconnected. Uh, this next set of slides from the Marcula Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University shows some of the key points. So the way that technology, for instance, is a medium through which we act with and towards others, the way that it shapes, that technology shapes the social, political, economic, biological, psychological, and environmental conditions, that it makes us more powerful, but also more vulnerable because we're all interconnected, tied together by the technology, and how the design and implementation of tech right now is concentrated in the hands of an elite few that really doesn't reflect the needs of most people, which is some of the issues that groups like All Tech is Human that I'll talk about later are trying to address. Um, there are machine values that are kind of manifested in a um, appreciation for technology or kind of an over-reliance over on technology that manifest at an, the expense of human values, such as justice and compassion. And those are the kind of things that people working in the respectful technology field are trying to increase. The choices that we make in terms of the tools that we build have implications for future generations. Uh, we know this very profoundly right now. And the work that people in the responsible tech field are doing are, is focused on rebalancing those all of these elements. Um, groups like the OMDR network have developed a toolkit called the Ethical OS and to help designers and producers of technology think about the risks and more thoughtfully in terms of the tools that they make. They've identified eight risk zones that are shown here from truth, disinformation, and propaganda to ethics in machine learning and algorithmic bias to issues of the su surveillance state. Um, similarly, the Marcola Center has identified 13 issues and concerns in ethics and technology, like declining transparency, algorithmic bias and injustice, diminished data privacy, issues of technological manipulation with targeted advertising, and uh, increasing concentration of power or surveillance society that we are all aware of an attention economy. Some of these terms may be familiar for you. Digital Taylorism, which they ref which is a way of understanding like technological and digital control for over workers. And generally the way that all of this builds to a, a state of declining social trust. Um, environmental sustainability issues are core of this. And this issue of tech solutionism, where you believe that Many of these issues described can be solved by better and more technology without considering the social aspects. So considering all of these pieces, responsible technology is a field. It's a multidisciplinary field, which aims to better align the development and deployment of digital technologies with individual and societal values. Things like our civil liberties, our notions of fairness and democracy at large. 
it views tech and society, as I mentioned earlier, as being inextricably inter inter intertwined, where both one affects the other. And it practicing responsible tech means taking a proactive and systemic approach towards ensuring that emerging technologies can be used as a force for good. Responsible tech can also be seen as a movement for those focused on reducing the harms of technology, diversifying the tech pipeline, ensuring that technology is aligned with the public interest. It can be seen as a call to action more broadly uh, for a greater agency and intention around the development and deployment of digital technologies. Groups like All Tech is Human uh, take a three-pronged approach to responsible tech, collaborative, connected, and co-created, where collaborative refers to working with others on sh knowledge sharing, Connected refers to making connections between the knowledge that's gained and the various stakeholders at play and co-creation, which refers to really working with those stakeholders on creating the tools and taking a holistic lens. There are some key elements to consider if you are a creator or producer of technology. Things about the way that the product or service or business that you have can positively in, in impact the world considering the harms that might be a byproduct of the tool or the service or the product that you're building. Thinking about how someone, a malicious actor, might use the product in a way that was not intended. Uh, thinking about the privacy elements, thinking about other things that you may not be aware of and to kind of look at the big picture. Similarly, whose interests and desires and skills and experiences and values may have been assumed without having consulted those people um, who will be directly and indirectly affected by what you're building. What, where is the risk of harm? Um, what are you willing to sacrifice to do it right? And, and one of my favorite questions, how, will this make people better off with it than without it? Another way to think about building responsible technology or being thoughtful about responsible technology is what's called the grid approach, which involves taking a, a multifaceted approach that sent, takes the central issues and considers the interlocking roles of various stakeholders, such as, in this case, users, producers, policymakers, workers, advertisers, funders, and whatnot. So for instance, in a, a scenario of a polluted information ecosystem with, with misinformation that is dangerous, you might want to consider the role of platforms and users, policymakers, tech workers, news media, advertisers. Similarly, in a scenario where you're thinking about how digital spaces can have an adverse effect on mental well-being, you also may want to think about how the knowledge base or the users or the advertisers or the news media or the platforms, what role they play and how they can be um, helpful towards a, sol a solution. The responsible tech ecosystem is very diverse, very broad and touches really on all a range of topics from anthropology to art, to statistics, to sociology, to social work, psychology, policy, philosophy, law, international relations, information science, health, environmental studies, education, economics, digital design, computer science, engineering, and community development. All of those, and probably more, uh, all feed into the broad field of responsible technology as it is emerging over time. Topics in responsible tech range from applications such as AI chatbots to IoT, uh, facial recognition, education technology, um, behavioral advertising, elements in online media such as the attention economy and cyberbullying and rabbit holes and polarization and, and media literacy, uh, aspects of design, inclusion, equity, and power such as accessibility, digital divide, digital human rights, um, power asymmetries, safety by design, privacy by design, elements in governance and ethics such as accountability, AI bias, explainability and interoperability in AI, governance and outreach, outreach in AI, data trusts, singularity, robot ethics, trust and safety, tech ethics, VR ethics, just the, the, the field is broad. The, the options are broad. The topics are broad. Another really, really important aspect of 
uh, responsible innovation and responsible technology is the diversity. Um, we feel that the tools that we create and we as a society benefit from a diverse and informed cr group of creators and that diversity breeds responsible innovation. So part of the responsibility of responsible tech is to make the tech field more accessible and welcoming to people from diverse educational and cultural backgrounds. Responsible tech is a viable career path for people from many different fields, from STEM to social science, as well as disciplines like law, policy, design, and the humanities. Regardless of educational background and professional experience, having a nonlinear career path doesn't appear to be the exception, but the norm. Skills in the responsible tech field range from communications, social science knowledge, relationship management, analysis, synthesis, product development, empathy, inclusivity, and problem solving. There's a range of titles in the responsible tech field. At All Tech is Human, we curate a job board. And these examples are specifically from our job board and just really show the diversity of roles that are there, including um, machine learning ethicist, research sci scientist on societal impacts, data engineer working in humanitarian data, facial recognition policy fellow, um, senior service designer for insight and impact, AI ethics content writer, data science manager for responsible AI, trust and safety director, program manager for public interest technology, uh, human rights, digital values, fair and responsible banking. Again, part of the, pres the goal of this presentation is to show you that there is this is not a narrow field. This is a, a growing wide and, and diverse field with a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of people who are interested in this field, but they don't know where to go for education and community and job pathways. There are universities that are educating responsible technologists, either directly through new programs that are emerging or indirectly through some tech adjacent um, subject matter and, and disciplines, but they don't know where the, the graduates should go. And then there's the roles that are blossoming in the industry and the industry not knowing where to source those that talent. And so one of the things that All Tech is Human, which is an organization I'm part of, does is kind of connect um, all these different dots. We bring together a diverse range of people across civil society, government and industry. We believe that the tools and technologies we develop have the power to profoundly affect us and shape our society. While we can't predict the future, we can think critically and ethically about the long-term social impact and unexpected uses of the, of the tech that we create today. We can turn our energies towards building technology that protects our minds, replenishes society, and shapes a thriving world. Let's build a better tech future.